Max are no longer immune from viruses. A major vulnerability in Firefox can steal your files. Space lettuce are now part of a diet of space station astronauts. And the Lexus hoverboard. Find out how magnetic levitation works. Change is everywhere. Inventions, innovations, gadgets, the internet. Science and technology are defining the way we live. Rappler brings you the frontline news in this brave new world. Hi, I'm Matthew Ang. Apple Macs were said to be immune from attacks unlike PCs. It's no longer true. Developed as a proof of concept by security researchers, the Thunderstrike 2 worm can exploit vulnerabilities in PCs and Macs. Wired reports, attackers could remotely hit the boot flash firmware on a Mac through a phishing attack or malicious website code. When it reaches the machine's firmware, it could block new updates from being installed or write itself to a new update. Firmware aren't scanned by antivirus software. Once infected, Thunderstrike 2 would search for peripherals that contain an option ROM, like the Thunderbolt Ethernet adapters. Wiping the operating system of the infected machine does not work. To kill the malware in firmware, one would need to reflash the chip, which is difficult and complicated. Mozilla discovers a major vulnerability lurking in an ad on the Russian news site. If you load the ad page, an attacker code will install software that can silently steal files in the background and upload them to Ukrainian server. And you'll never know. The flaw exploits Firefox's PDF viewer and the JavaScript context to inject a script that can search for and upload local files. The files it searches for are developer-focused. All versions of Firefox are affected. If you're using Firefox, you should update to version 39.0.3 right now. Twitter is rolling out a new landscape option, and it starts with the iPhone 6 Plus mobile app. The new mode allows users to view more of the user interface at once, such as inbox and direct messages, a new compose window, and threaded conversations. Facebook launches live streaming video, giving actors, musicians, celebrities, and politicians a virtual podium to connect with fans in real time. Facebook has used this technology, it's pretty cool. Public figures can share live video through the app Facebook Mentions. Facebook product manager Vadim Navrusik says viewers can quote, comment, like, or share the video while watching live broadcast. You can also see when your friends or other public figures start watching. We got a great cameraman who's also our producer. Actor Dwayne The Rock Johnson. We're kind of not thinking about it anymore. We just Tennis star Serena Williams. Who is she? Brazilian footballer Ricardo Caca My first live chat with this new Facebook app. And singer Michael Bublé are already using mentions. Facebook's foray into live streaming comes after Twitter's Periscope and the Meerkat app debuted this year. If you bike or run and like to take video of your activity, you probably end up with hours and hours of footage. This gadget can do the editing for you. The Grava is a helmet-mounted video cam that tracks motion, sound, and position using five sensors. A camera, a microphone, an accelerometer, GPS, and a heart rate monitor. The camera works the same way your brain does. Data from these inputs tells Grava which are the most memorable moments of your footage and edits them together. It allows syncing the video to music and sharing directly to social media on the go. It also comes with a 4K hyperlapse mode, but it won't be available till next year. The Lexus Hoverboard. How does it work? It's called Magnetic Levitation Technology. The hoverboard is built with an insulated core containing high temperature superconducting blocks. The system doesn't need uh, electricity at all. We use a permanent magnet and we use the liquid nitrogen to cool down the superconductor. So you just have to keep it cold to have a long hovering effect.
Testing on veggies grown in space are done and the astronauts are ready to eat their little harvest of red romaine lettuce. Its plant experiment, called Veg01, is NASA's first open-air vegetable garden. Red, blue, and green LED lights were used to grow the lettuce. So we grew red romaine lettuce the first time, um, and, and it grew, um, and we had, we had three good-looking plants that were harvested. Vegetable technology aboard the space station will provide future pioneers with a sustainable food supplement in the future journey to Mars. And before we go, a million miles away in space, a NASA camera shows a unique view of the moon as it moved in front of the sunlit side of Earth last month. A NASA camera aboard the Deep Space Climate Observatory, or Discover Satellite, captured the shot. The images also show the fully illuminated dark side of the moon that is never visible from Earth. And that's SciTech for you, a fun rundown of the nerdiest, smartest, science and technology events and breakthroughs in the planet. This is Matthew Ang. See you next week.